uh, is the better Monkey King. So looking forward to having some fun with this. Now, now real quickly, okay, a couple things first off. One, it turns out the players agreed to do a best out of three with this. So it's no longer just a straight-up best out of one. We now have a best out of three here. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. You know, if you win the first game, so then you win a second one. On top of that, as far as how 1v1 rules go, um, so it's a maximum of 15 minutes is the max length of a game. I highly doubt we'll get to that point, especially in this matchup. But uh, it goes max 15 minutes. To win, you either need to kill the other person first, get the bloodlust kill. Second is you can kill the tower you win. Third is if it gets to 15 minutes, and it's whoever has the highest creep, kill, and deny combined together. So, you know, we've done a couple of these events before. Uh, so if you've tuned in there before, it's, it's basically the same rule set. So, again, just to clarify, as far as what is concerned. So, Cookie's, of course, going to be on the Legion side, Pee Wee on the Hellborn side. And already off the bat, kind of an interesting thing to talk about. You look at uh, the build of both of these heroes. Cookie's going the, the, the really typical, I mean, the hatchet shield regen with the uh, trees. Whereas Pee Wee, on the other hand, going the hatchet, but he gets his uh, health potion, trees, as well as three minor totems. It's an extra bit of regen there. doesn't have the shield, yeah. so. I mean, a little bit inferior training hits, but it makes up for it by the fact that he does have a health potion. That burst heal in a 1v1 can mean a lot. Mm -hmm. Granted, there's a courier, so Cookies might make use of it. You see a big start to this game is that creep blocking, and it looks like Cookies had a much better time Yeah, when so it came down to it. The extra stats do assist him a little bit in yeah. that uh, lot. Well, not only the last hitting, but training hits as well. Something else, Cookie's win his elusive dash right away. Pee Wee, though, still yet to level up an ability. Uh, he's actually waiting for the right moment, of course, and you know it makes sense if you're not going to be using it. No point to level up at least just yet, although we see right here. Heavenly Vault could be leveled up by Cookie's, and it looks like Pee Wee will go the elusive dash as far as his uh, first pickup. So uh, do you expect this to be a quick match? I mean, do you see this being pretty quick? I... I don't know. I, I know. I know. Cookies is a very aggressive player. Pee Wee, as well. I mean, yeah. Monkey King Seal putting a lot of birds. I expect it to to be a disaster pretty soon. Yeah. I hope I don't see it be like a, a flick into the tower kind of kill thing though. I, I kind of want it to be this all out showdown. Yeah. In the middle. I hate when the tower is assisting in the kill. <laughs> That's true. Hey, as far as uh, you'll see the skins, they both are using the same skin here. It seems like it's preferred duck. Both. Maybe yeah, it's uh. Duck. Maybe some of the animation on it, the way it feels is. Well, there's the extra regen on top of the mine. Look at it, he actually has quite a bit thrown his way. Yeah. Power supply coming for Pee Wee, but Cookies, as he mentioned, the health push delivered as well as some mana battery here. Oh, he's got some early in. grass, and he okay. wants to get those mana battery charges potentially being used by Pee Wee early on. Pee Wee, though, holding strong. Not using anything yet. And the courier is here for him. What is he going to get? Power supply. Yep. It's the full power supply. Finish that off. Some extra stats as well as the capability going 15 charges now, of course. A lot of back and forth at the towers, it seems like. It keeps getting pushed up yeah. to it. So, and again, again, in fact, we'll get some tower assistance here. to so there's Pee Wee for a bit. Looks like he's trying to finally apply some aggression. Yeah. There you go. Heavily vault around. Again, expect a uh -oh. lot of movement between these two <laughs> when they start going. Both have the same build. Yeah, both have the same build right now. 1.1 Jin Slam, the Elusive Dash, and then the two points in the Heavenly, Heavenly Vault. And you'll see the Heavenly Vault get max in the end. Yeah. Two mod battery charges there for Cookies. Zero power supply charges for Pee Wee. Overall health pool favors Pee Wee there at 701, but he does not have that shield. Still, a lot of the damage is coming out from abilities where Shield won't help you there. Yeah. So I was actually, that's, that was why I kind of was wondering a little bit about that. Cookies are always going to try to get some tower assistance there. He does at least get one hit from the tower. Protect, protects him from creeps too, mind you, when he's actually True. harassing. So. Creep score, though, look at that. 17-4 and four for Pee Wee, 12-0 and 0 for Cookies. So nice. Pee Wee is off to a much better start here. Now has the... He's able to use that mana potion without worried about it breaking right now just because he's a little bit stronger. If Cookies went in, he'd have to fear a counter kill. The harass being applied. Oh, Pee Wee going in. Cookie's going to lose a dash. Oh. Can he maybe chase him down? Nope. <laughs> Not able to finish it. Almost. You see uh, ooh, Ring of the Teacher are going to be coming out here for Pee Wee. As the uh, Scarab being delivered now. Yeah. Top of the 
early Guardian Ring. So much more armor with that set. Already. So really too concerned with the boots. He figures, you know, in order to hit me, he has to get in melee range anyway, so let him come to me. Yeah. Meanwhile, what does Cookies have there? Does he have He's actually going for something similar. He's going for a Guardian Ring himself. Mm -hmm. So has that early Pretender's Crown, but not really looking to convert it to anything. Yeah. Almost makes you wonder, should I maybe have gotten the yeah. totems? So bringing the teacher finish now from Monkey King. Again, the creep scores. Cookie seems like he's closed a little bit here, but still definitely in favor of oh, yeah. Kiwi. But look at where the lane's pushing. It is pushing up, so. Yeah. Oh. He's going to jump in. Oh, back and forth. Uh -oh. Watch slams put down. Cookie's going in with the elusive dash. They're going to go for auto attack for auto attack right here. The watch is put down by Pee Will it be enough? The elusive dash away. He's a lot of battery. And no, not going to go back in. He does have the mana battery. There we go. Use it, but didn't yeah. want to go for the kill. Oof. Very, very close right there. A lot of regen being used, though. Pee the one looking good. No health potion on Monkey King. That's yeah, the biggest still difference here. Up, but look at what's he actually upgraded the courier and has a health and a mana potion flying out. <laughs> what, what did I say? Call? I, well, okay, fair. Okay. I said Monkey King. Okay, she said <laughs> Cookies. There is two Monkey Kings. So it could be confusing. Technically, they're pecking ducks. Uh, <laughs> technically, yeah. Wait, what is with that? This is the ultimate Monkey King match. <laughs> not... Why are they running the ducks? And I've seen that some of them have the ultimate avatar. Oh, they both have it, I guarantee you. Yeah, so. There's the jump in from Pee Wee. Is he going back and forth? Now it's Cookie's turn and a little bit of a... Uh, Okay, Anything remember this. Do, do when you actually initiate first, you have the cooldown up first as well. So in a, in a prolonged fight, you're going to win. Unless they can burst you down fast enough. Yeah. Both go the Wanjim Slam level 2. Obviously staying away from the Nimbus Cloud or Flying Nimbus. Really uh, not a big point to get that in this matchup here at this time at least. We see initiation from Pee Wee once again. Elusive Dash coming out. Cookie still has his abilities to go. Being very passive with them. Doesn't want the mana battery charges, obviously. Doesn't want to give power supply charges to Monk to <laughs> Pee Wee. <laughs> to Monkey King. To Monkey King. Monkey King doesn't want to give power supply charges to Monkey King. Mother Region being buried out. So yes. Pee Wee does have the edge, I can't oh, say yeah. that, but you know, it, it's pretty close. Has burned more regen, I'd say. Cookies though. So I think more of his regen going towards consumables a little bit. Now actually being able to box out Pee Wee a little bit. Uh oh, has to be coming for the tower. Yeah, got him a little bit, at least one attack I think, but yeah, it still helps. No region right now other than the mana battery on Cookies, so. Well, six charges though, two on Pee Wee. Look at their health, he has 100 health on him. Now he's going for a little bit of an upgrade going on the uh, Pretender's Crown. Could become the, or wait, he purchased and sold it or? He has it on him. Oh! No, he upgraded it to a. Or he, I saw the recipe purchase for the. Soul Scream Ring? Amulet of the Exile. Oh, Amulet of the Exile. He okay. sold it. Monkey King does get its own Ring of Teacher now. Or, God. <laughs> Cookies gets his own Ring of Teacher. He said he's now. coming. He's got his Ring of the Teacher. He's ready. Here comes the Amulet of the Exile picked <laughs> up on the other side of things, though. There, putting in some auto attacks. Is, was, he, was he lying? Cookie's going in. Nope, nope. That doesn't Minimal do that damage. much damage. Yeah, really not much. Without the auto attacks in between. Yeah. Uh-oh. He's laying out the offensive. He has the full mana battery now. Oh, Pee Wee going He's in though confident. himself. Okay. Is he going to try to turn on four seconds at Heavenly Vault? Mm. Pee Wee, however, six charges on his. He'll have pretty much a full combo himself. Yeah. There's the image of the XL. And the Mana Potion coming out. Meanwhile. Yeah, Cook has got the, the upgraded courier, definitely worth mentioning, too. Another oh, Pretenders yeah. Crown added. So, All right. we have a different route here. Yeah. Comes back in. Trading auto attacks here. Pee Wee uh -huh. is winning in the uh, last hit war, so if it goes to that 15 minute mark, yep. he will he be the victor. Advantage. So Sitting on full mana battery, basically a full power supply. Not really. I mean, some more charge. Right, yeah, 15 charges. So, gonna use it anyway. Oh, there we go. PB jumping in. Cookies puts down the wand gym slam. Not gonna hit though. Doesn't reach it. And He's remember, he was back. forced to use his mana battery there. Yep. Pee-wee using that power supply as well. Already built up two charges though, and has more mana, 280 compared to 182, and he has the higher health. Mm, Cookies Will he go in? Here. Uh oh. 
Living life on the edge here. There it goes. Pee there it is. No, he tries to elusive dash away, but it's not going to happen. Pee Wee Ooh, takes it. Game one. You'll get game one here. Oh. It's best of the three. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's right. Okay, that is a best one. of three. It is a best of three. <laughs> Takes the first game at least, but whew, yeah, that was that cookie. He's deciding to live life on the edge there at the last minute. What lessons will they have learned from that first match? We'll see. Will they stick with the pecking duck or maybe <laughs> choose a different alt avatar that's that didn't the, work out for him? That's the most important question there. Hey, that no, is. no, no. When it comes to comfort factors, certain avatars yeah. do have an animation that feels better. The fact that they both chose pecking duck there might say something. Yeah, definitely. definitely does, I'm sure. Of so. course, uh, mathematically behind the scenes, they're, they're functioning the same, but the feel of it mm -hmm. uh, can change, so. Yeah, so again, game number one going to Pee Wee. Here we are at the one versus one uh, match here to see which yeah. Monkey King player, will it be Pee Wee or will it be Cookies to take the title? So far, Pee Wee is up one game to nothing. Uh, Cookies did make the point before. He was definitely in favor of best of three because, you know, he's yeah. like, I need to warm up a little bit, if anything. <laughs> Uh, obviously, Pee Wee is getting playing done playing a tournament match, so sure uh, you can look at that. Not that I'm making excuses by any means, but I'm just saying. Uh, hey, you're your champion so. one game one. There you go. That's right. So I mean, Pee Wee did take game one. Make... I uh, I do have that working for me there. So of course they're gonna swap sides as well. Not that that's the biggest deal in the world. I guess the only you could say uh, Cookies is actually laying down that same. He says yeah, be a best of three to warm up. So. Yeah. Do you have a – or do you, do you say there is an advantage to going out of the Legion or Hellborn in a one versus one like this? Is a blocking is a little bit easier for the Legion, the Legion side, side yeah. sometimes. But uh, outside of that, it just if you get the right spawn, it's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. Lobby should be up. Are you in the – yes, you are. I don't see you, actually. That's weird. Uh, probably – I may have joined via Staff Spectator. I probably should. Oh, okay. I was going to say, do not actually see you in that one. Doesn't it work still? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Maybe it does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, visible. But yeah, I guess I'm invis when I do that. Going so. back in this one. Okay. Uh, looks like Pee Wee's joining back up as well. So as soon as he sits down, we should be good to go here. And uh, moving on with game number two. Obviously, I know the uh, the teams as well that are in the grand finals, both MVP and Lions, definitely uh, waiting uh, for this to finish. So obviously, want to keep this going here um, as efficient as possible. But uh, we will have that grand final matchup going to be coming out here in a best of the three as well after this. So if you are just tuning in for this, uh, definitely stay tuned here on this Friday uh, to, for a great finish for the Ultimate Series Monkey Kingdom event. So uh, we are good. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> I've let them know uh -huh. that we're good on our end. So as uh, soon as they feel like going, we'll be good to go here and jump into game number two. So yep. again, swap in sides. As you said, you know, maybe the Legion Society could argue that it's a little easier to block, but other than that, right. really uh, not much else. We saw right there. I mean, yeah. We'll see how game two plays out. I mean, Hellborn wins both sides. Then, mm -hmm. well, no. I mean, in the end, <laughs> we just made a little better decision making. Uh, yeah. Cookies was saying he had time to warm up as well. So now you had your warm-up game, Cookies. How are you going to respond? All right. Is, Let's jump in, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two. What is th – there's a whole, like, here. hero? Oh, the uh, the filter thing uh, was introduced this patch, I believe. Wow, that's awesome, actually. Yeah, you, so can you can search actually, for heroes. Search for heroes. You filter can actually out based on type. That, filter that is certain sick. roles and whatnot, and depending on what your team has and everything. Yeah, it's actually a really cool feature that was added yeah. uh, in this most recent patch. So definitely check it out if you haven't yet. Um, Cookie sticking with the same item build. He's content that I do want that shield. And yeah. So you tell him still Pee Wee's confident that – yeah, same build for both sides. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you made the good point. I mean, against creeps, it still mitigates a lot of damage, obviously, with that shield. So, yeah. And trading autos and just a little bit of weight there. Still, quick conversion to a power supply is nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. The man minor totems already, as you set up for that. In this case, if you're Pee-wee, so. Again, that was around, what, nine minutes, nine minute mark there. We had uh, the kill come out for, for Pee Wee's favor. So I'm putting him up one game to nothing. We'll see if he can sweep the series with Cookies or Cookies is able to force that third and final game now. Here in this one versus one showdown. You know, the next uh, ultimate avatar, obviously the Wild Soul. I'm sure we'll have an yeah. event for him as well. 
Um, and once again, let's stay away from that potential rule of having uh, one <laughs> wild soul on, on each either team side. For, the event. for him, yeah, it might be a little over the top. I, I, yeah, I would. <laughs> and for for one versus one as well, even it seems like wild soul one v one might be. A, I think we're just gonna have to maybe think little, of something uh, different. A little brutal. Maybe they can one v one in the woods and see. <laughs> the it's bears attacking each other. <laughs> Jungle actually, to level six, time attack. I wonder. Who yeah, will win? I wonder if you do go one v one wild soul, if you'd actually even level up the bear. I mean, it seems like almost you would. Maybe pass would, on that? I no, mean, I would still level up still the bear. Okay. It's got the root. It's got the root. That's true. It does. It's a bodyguard. <laughs> but maybe we can. Maybe we could say you do, you can't get the can't bear. Can't get the what bear. What if we do that? Then maybe that and then it's the CS war between two it's heroes. Just no nukes. Yeah, <laughs> that can't do any stuns. Each side anything. starts with the codex. How entertaining that would be. All right. Well, speaking of this one. Uh, okay. Wow. A lot of. <laughs> <laughs> they're getting madder. <laughs> they are. But actually, Peewee. Raid. Taking the better of that early exchange. Yeah. Extra stats going into play still. Is he going to be aggressive again? Elusive dash is up in one second. No. Obviously, there's a creep wave coming, so not going to get too ahead of himself. Wants to make sure he gets that, that farm in. He's closer to the trees right now, so if he wants to go um, begin to regen a bit, he can do so without... No, see, he need... That's... Uh, I don't know about that. Oh, he catches him, actually. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Peewee might be in not some trouble. Get, not going to be so close, yeah. He has a lot more mana now. I felt like Pee-wee right afterwards immediately should um, perhaps use the Blightstone on the trees. Mm -hmm. and that way he could have manned up a little bit easier. Avoid <laughs> the health bot. And yeah. see, that's actually interesting because now he's forcing Cookies back. But not yeah. so much. Yeah, it is at the tower. doesn't have enough mana to really this. finish him off right now. So. Yeah. Nope. This is no point. Look at the early CS, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Definitely being dominated by Pee by Pee Wee, ten and two compared to two and zero. Oh. Obviously, uh, now at least Cookies will get a couple of creep kills. Oh yeah, here, the lane control plays a big role. It's just, uh, interesting to see that early advantage. I think it's really important in these one v one matchups, though, to have a health potion. Mm -hmm. It seems just like it. The first game, the same thing as well. Yeah, and we saw that right there. Blade zones always, I mean, it's not, you can send it out on Courier, sure. It's just, oh no. Jeez, yeah, Cookie's missing a couple, couple of those. We weren't necessarily being yes. tested there either. Perhaps a little bit afraid. Oh, he gets some control PD. back here. And he already has the ring of the teacher. Mm -hmm. Oh, jeez, yeah. Topped off, it's. He has level 4, has a level advantage right now. Launch him, Sam. Whereas Cookie's does not. He's going to go in right there with the elusive dash, but. As as, oh, the courier needs to be careful about that. Actually, that would be devastating to lose that the courier. Game, but if he was going to get vaulted into the tower while it's yeah, going for it, yeah, could be cause issues. Not worth it. Confident in where he's standing right now. Hatch and ring the teacher. Didn't opt for the earlier mana battery this game. Not even need it though. Much harder is he hitting? Let's take a look. He does have the totems at the top of there. He says bonus of 9 damage. 64 to 70 versus 56 to 62. Mm. So 8 damage edge. Yeah. On the cookies. Most certainly hitting harder. Oh, That's only 5 damage now on the ring of the teacher. They that, actually yeah. did have that extensive nerf on it. Yeah, just like the first game, though, Pee Wee has a big lead here as far as creep kills. Now there's out. the power supply, so let's take a look at Cookie's mana battery. No charges being added to it. Going right here, at least supplies. And he's not pressure. going to add any charges yet either. Yeah. And now he's gonna have his power supply, so that pretty much has a ring of teacher on top of him. That's a health potion now on Cookie's side. The farm still <laughs> handedly in Pee Wee's favor. Yeah, obviously it's not only, it, you know, getting the creep kills to eventually win a 50-minute game if it comes to that, it's great, but... Did he actually evade oh, wow. with the elusive yeah, dash? I think he might have. Cookies, a lot of damage right there in return. But, uh, no, of course, the, the point of that, you get an item like a ring of teacher just a little sooner, the power supply a little sooner, it just it starts to edge your opponent out quite a bit. And it can just kind of snowball, as we always like to say, as far as even in a real game goes, so... You're right. He has the good lead right here. Cookies is going to need to be crafty. It's hard for him to really surprise the Monkey King with anything. other one, though, he has the high armor, and if he initiates, he's asking to be initiated on himself, so where can he make up the difference yeah. when he's already down? It is tough. Some crafty last hits. And <laughs> he 
push over the tower. People might hit six Okay, missed a few of those, and yeah. I'm not sure if he'll actually get this one too. No. Nope. So that, that's a little bit of room. Pull the way back. Yeah, there is some harassment from Pee Wee coming out. More Heavenly Vaults used, and Cookie is actually getting a little low right here. There, he's going to go in himself. The one jump side gets him caught by it, actually, but not going to follow that up. Just a lot of damage coming out in the end. Good combo from Cookies. Well nice placed. attempt, but health potion up for uh, Pee Wee. Yep. Only Blight Stones for Cookies, as well as the mana advantage. Bringing the teacher up for both. The difference is that shield. Will it pay off? More regen being sent, another mana potion being sent out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the goal per minute chart, Monkey King's leading. <laughs> really? They really? both suck with the pecking duck, so. Yeah. Two Monkey King Masters of New Earth. If you're out there, take note. <laughs> this is a skin you want to use and you want to crush. Pecking duck. Wow, yeah, a nice couple of creep kills right there, and actually gets a third one. Well played by Pee Wee there. See him uh, gonna get delivered the regen. And uh, continuing quite the edge is Pee Wee, however. As, what is he having delivered? Oh, I thought it was something. Might have been on the courier, might just be a health push, and it looks like. Oh, wow, actually, more, a lot more than just the Amulet of the Exile. He's working on Bracers. Meanwhile, some jumping going on here back. In the middle, so the and actually gen. cookies, okay. Doesn't want to use it yet. Yeah. Not until he has his vault up. It's going to be up soon. He has mana for both, but cookies. Oh, oh yeah, you that saw hurt. what I saw. Yep. Health potion got canceled. He got a lot out of it, but still. Uh, it's still Any a cancel, it can matter, yeah. yeah. Anything matters And now, time. with the health potion being delivered to Peewee, once again, cookies is going to have to wait for his courier to come before he can actually stand a chance <coughs> during that time. You're asking for free farm here for Pee Wee. 44 to 12 compared to 26 and 1. It's like Jeez. a grim for cookies. Yeah, it is. All Kinda Pee Wee needs, needs to do at this point is, yeah, cookies is mad. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's his mad face. Of being uh, pissed off because, yeah, he is definitely behind. He knows it, obviously. And actually... He's going to go in the face right here. Pee-wee putting in the auto attacks. Going to throw out the combo. Puts the one jump slam down. Cookies. Oh, he just avoids right there. He's going back in. What is Cookies thinking, right. actually? That was close. Jeez. Doing whatever damage he can. Oh, Pee-wee with vaults. the aggression. I believe Vault maybe. Elusive dash away. So <laughs> oh, look at him chase. Yeah, he's just going to stop. Oh, jeez. All the way back. Wow. At this point, it looks like back. he might use yep. that vault. I guarantee he's going to use that vault to get back to the fountain sooner. Oh, of course. Or this uh, structure, the... In the meantime, it's you have free free farm for PB already is so far ahead. <laughs> you see a thousand life compared to seven hundred and seventy-seven. Big difference there. He's actually gonna even start buying boots now. Or you know, he buys a punch dagger, never mind. He's buying a punch dagger for some extra damage here. Cookies uh, ports back goes in right away on a Pee-wee. Plus so there's one hope damage. here is really the aggression. Yeah. He's not going to win this CS war. Oh, absolutely not. He can only win through Pee Wee maybe uh, screwing up, and he, he has to go first, so he gets those cooldown, cooldowns up first as well. He needs to take some risks, most certainly. You see right there, though, Punch Dagger delivered. Even more damage now for uh, Pee Wee's sake. It is looking grim for Cookies. Down one game to nothing already. Pull through the uh oh, there goes the initiation from Pee Wee X coming in, He's but it loses dash away. Heavenly fall hits, the one just side put down and will set him again. But he needs to worry about surviving at this point, running the other direction. Can he, he might just be able cut to through? turn it? Oh my gosh, Pee Wee. Wait, what does he have coming? Him. He has a health potion coming. Oh jeez. Oh, he has to try to find a way to get back in there. He's able to make this happen if he's able to. Yep. Can he vault in and get it happen? No regen on Pee Wee right now. Uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Pee Wee, Pee Wee might be in trouble. The loses dash away. Pee Wee, oh, oh no. no, he's gonna be fine. He even goes forward a little bit, but Pee Wee is oh. going to survive. That was Cookie's 100% chance. Look at the Nimbus. Wait, he's, he's trying to chase. Hard. He's diving. Oh, he's going balls to the wall. The region. He can't get it on him. He's just too full in inventory. Oh, but I don't think yeah, he's going to get the region up. And now that Cookies, was Cookie's last that was stand, it. man. That was definitely it. Close. 
Very close. He actually The one way I think he might have been able to do it is if instead of going back and around, he stayed in that little pocket of the woods, got the region, and then came back out the same way. Yeah. Instead of going around and into the lane and maybe caught Pee Wee off guard over there. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that that was probably you know. The nighttime, you saw he didn't see up the hill, he felt mm -hmm. confident, but you know, this insane lead here for Pee Wee. As great as Cookies is himself, I mean not many players would be able to come back from this, if any. And uh Pee Wee still doesn't have uh, any more region on him. Obviously he just had it used and so Maybe another case again if Cookies can get that early advantage. But you see right here, Pee-wee's going to be the first one to go in. And actually gets a great combo off right there, but Cookie is just going to heavily vault away. You continue to play somewhat passive. But we are now approaching that mark. If you guys are paying attention to the time here, we're coming up to 11 minutes now. So, again, 15 minutes is the max. Once it hits 15 minutes, it goes to the creep score. Both creep kills and denies. You add them up. Whoever has them more gets the, gets the victory. And right now, it is well... Well in favor of Pee Wee. That's yeah, probably not, not going to change. Point. <laughs> <laughs> so it's again a case of Cookies needs to finish it before 15 minutes, basically, or else it's, it will be a victory for Pee Wee. How does he close the gap on a hero that now is only hitting a lot harder? Look at the damage: 94 to 100 compared to 79 to 85. But yeah. also, you need those Ghost Marchers. Another thing to note too: I mean, Cookies did put the point into the Nimbus, so. That, that not only is he a level down already, he, he used one of those points in an ability that probably, you know, isn't going to help him in the long run. It was well, just simply to try to, to get, get the kill. kill right there. Of course, yeah, it made sense why he got it, but he is definitely now even further behind because of that. You could argue. I mean, he could have a lot of things uh, differently. You literally have double the CS here either way. Well, I'm saying double, but actually it's a lot worse than that. If you, you remember the, the mid-wars, it comes to the denies. And yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 15, yeah. That, almost. Well, it's a nice way of running at one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see you in three minutes. <laughs> what? Is there a I mean, or something? Well, the thing is, technically... Okay, PB is going to go... Oh, the courier's there as well! He kills the courier! That just adds insult to injury, man. Cookies is going to kind of sit there, but <laughs> now Cookies literally... I mean, he's just 100% all in. Um, no, but what I was going to say is you see Ghost March delivered. Yeah, if anything, that's the stop. Pee Wee technically could go back to the wall right now and say GG because there's no yes. comeback. There we go. Bloodlust kill. And Pee Wee will indeed take it. Pee Wee is the master monkey king, at least from this match that we got here, Emperor. And, uh, you know, that's uh, his power level is uh, definitely pretty high as a result of that. Yeah. You could say it sure is. So. Wow, I mean, how high would you say? Just how, how high would I say? I mean, what did you think of that game first off? I, th I thought it was pretty incredible. Oh, I mean, I would, I'd say uh, back and forth. You know, in the end, both Monkey King Masters. Yeah. Uh, Pee-wee did have the warm-up you go back to, and Cookies, uh, I know he's been spending a little bit more time away from Han lately. Not trying to make excuses, but in the end, you're champion one, Breaky. All right, but well, how high is the power level, you ask? The power level. It is over 9,000 power level! Oh, oh my god, Breaky, whoa, stop! Stop! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, he's becoming a Super Saiyan! Oh, wow, we have fun here at all. Breaky! I, I'm, I'm all over Super all Saiyan over CPK, now. I mean. Super Saiyan CPK. It's an honor. Officially my new name. Thank you, thank you. Uh, no, but Pee Wee in this case, it's still going, man. It's, uh, I, can't, I, I can't help, I'm radiating, I'm radiating here. What is happening right now? <laughs> I didn't even know you were... Oh my god, that's going to be fun watching on the, on the stream. That is incredible. Uh, uh, so again, the Monkey King champion, the ultimate Monkey King, the Super Saiyan status, over 9,000 power level, does belong to Pee Wee. Congratulations to him. But at what cost? I had to do that too. Anyways, all right, so yeah, I'm going to... That was, I got to keep it on. I got to keep it on. Well, I, I had no idea. <laughs> you didn't have any idea. I, I, I really <laughs> didn't. That's a fun <laughs> thing too. Well, what's up? Whenever we want to go to a break. Okay, with that said, I, I need I need to let this cool off now. I didn't go back to my normal my normal form here, so we are gonna take a short break, ladies and gentlemen. Again, congratulations to Pee Wee uh, for taking the Monkey King event over Cookies right there, deservingly so. Uh, but we are gonna sit tight, guys. We got the grand finals coming at you. Lion Esports Club gonna be taking on MVIP, KZ Slicks, Moon Meander Nova, and Tank Effet. A really great grand final set up here for the Ultimate Series Monkey King tournament. 
best out of three. Stay tuned for that. That is just around the corner right now. It's going to be fun. Sit tight, guys. We'll be right back.